So hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I have a really cool animation for you today. What it is, is an arc slider, and as you move to the left or to the right, it makes the ghost appear and disappear. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna combine three different libraries. The first is React Native Skia to create the arc. The second is React Native Gesture Handler, which is used to allow the dot to move from left to right. And the third is React Native Reanimated, which is gonna allow the ghost to appear and disappear. This is especially cool because it kind of shows how you can go back and forth between these three libraries and how they can work together really nicely for different effects. So in this video, there's gonna be a few trigonometry concepts and I'm not gonna explain the trigonometry really because I think there's a video that's done a much better job of this. This is William Kandilan's beautiful trigonometry video and I'm gonna link that in the description. Another thing I want to do before we get started is give credits to the artist Oksana Lachiva, and I'm really sorry if I mispronounced that name. Um, they did the ghost image for this tutorial, and I took their image from the Noun Project. So in the description, I'm going to leave a link to their Noun Project profile, and you can check out all their other images. They look really nice, and I recommend you maybe use them in your next project. Okay, so that's all for intros. Please like and subscribe. And let's get started. Okay, let's get into it. So we're going to start off by defining some variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these variables in order to create the arc. Um, our radius is going to be the width minus the stroke width divided by 2 minus 40. And the start angle is going to be pi. And the end angle is going to be math.pi times 2. Pretty basic uh, circle stuff. <laughs> let's calculate the starting point of the arc. We're going to do the center minus the radius multiplied by math cosine times the start angle. Same thing here. We're going to do negative r times math dot sine with the start angle plus center. And to get x2 and y2, we're just going to use the end angle. So it's pretty simple. Next, we're going to create an SVG path. That's going to be the arc. We're going to move from x1, y1 and create an arc with the radius. And then we're going to draw all the way to x2, y2. Finally, we're going to make our path by using skia path make, and we're going to use the SVG string for an arc. At this point, now that we have a valid path, we're going to create the canvas, and inside of the canvas, we're going to draw our arc. Just some simple configurations here. Uh, the stroke width we specified earlier, a rounded stroke cap because it looks nice and a gray color are good. Now that we save, we see our nice arc. Pretty cool so far. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is create that dot that we can move around. And we're gonna need two sets of state. The first is gonna be state from React Native Reanimated, which are the shared values. And we're also gonna get some state from Skia. You can see that the default values are x2 and y2. This is because this is the start of the arc. I'm also gonna keep track of the previous value of x and y, and you're gonna see where that comes in in a minute. So our circle, as I stated earlier, we're gonna start it at the cx and cy with the skia values. And we should just see the dot at the beginning of the uh, arc. And we do, which is good. All right, now in order to intercept the native gestures, we're gonna surround this with a gesture handler root view and a gesture handler. I'm sorry, gesture detector. And now we need to create a gesture that actually does something with this. And so we're gonna say gesture.pan because we're using a pan gesture handler. And for now, I'm not gonna lock it to the arc. I'm just gonna kind of hook up um, reanimated and React Native Skia. So for now, what I'm going to do is anytime there's a movement in the translation X or Y, I'm going to change the reanimated state of X and Y to reflect that with the dot. And then I'm going to add the gesture. I'm going to use this use shared effect from React Native Skia and say whenever movable X or movable Y changes, what I want to do is I want to map those values back to the skia state that I created with use value. Pretty cool, right? Uh, we can now move everything around using React Native Gesture Handler. But as you can see, things are moving a little weirdly. Uh, it also warps when I let go, and we really want things to move around a nice arc like this. 
So um, let's get started on that. And we're gonna have to use some really basic trigonometry for this. Uh, again, if you want a full explanation, you need to go to the William Kendig Dillon video, Beautiful Trigonometry. Uh, but on my end, I'll explain on a high level what we're doing. Basically, we're taking our canvas coordinates and we're mapping them to polar coordinates. After that, we are editing uh, the theta, which is the angle. And then we're gonna use redash in a moment uh, with the polar to canvas. And then we're gonna map these values back to canvas values, polar values back to canvas values. But before we do that, we have to deal with a couple edge cases, which are if you're to the extreme left or the extreme right of the circle. So first is if we're at the extreme right of the circle, what we want to do is make theta equal to pi so that you can't go past the boundaries of the arc. We're going to do the same thing on the left side using absolute x. And if you are too far to the left, we're going to make it equal to zero. And if you're in the middle, of course, we're just going to make the theta equal to the raw theta. Finally, we are going to update the values of the, oh, sorry. First, we're going to do our mapping. And we're going to map our new theta using the radius back to the uh, canvas coordinates, as I stated earlier. And now we're going to take these coordinates and we're going to put them into the state with uh, React Native Reanimated's gesture handler. Okay, so at this point, uh, if we try to move things around, we can see that it's locked nicely to the arc. That's exactly what we want. There is a problem though, and it's if you lift your finger and start the gesture again, basically the dot will uh, warp around. Okay, so we're gonna fix that by adding our on-end method. And all we need to do is we just need to save our CX and CY values into the previous values, and the next time around, uh, you should be able to move to the right place. I said to do a quick restart there, but as you can see, every time I lift my finger and put my finger back, it saves the state. Okay, so let's pretty things up. And I'm gonna start by doing this by putting a circle on top of our normal circle. And as you can see, it looks a little nicer now, but it travels along the same path as the other. I'm also gonna give our canvas a black background by putting a rectangle at zero, zero and giving it a height and width equal to the container screen. Okay, at this point, I wanna keep track of the percentage complete, which we're gonna to use to draw the ghost. And we're also gonna use it for the path for the arc and making how, and how orange it is. So our percentage complete is going to be one minus the new theta divided by math.pi. And that's because the theta value will always be some percentage of math.pi. Okay, so last up, what we need to do is create a foreground path. And it's gonna be the opposite of the background gray path. But we're gonna do the same thing and create the ski path the same way using the same SVG values. We're also gonna draw it ahead of the other um, arc. So now you see uh, in a second, it's orange because it's completely on top of the gray. And that's not quite what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna say that we want our arc to end at the percent complete. And now if we move, we see it fills up to the percentage with the orange, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna finish up here by adding the ghost image. And we're gonna start by doing a really simple animated style from um, React Native Reanimated. We're gonna give it a width, the height of 200, 300, and its opacity will be the percentage complete that we calculated earlier. We're gonna then throw that ghost image into an animated view inside of the ghost container that I made here. And then last up, we're gonna make the color black and use a colon. All right, now you can see if we move the circular slider, the arc slider, I'm sorry, you now see the ghost appear and disappear, which is really exciting. Thanks again for coming out, everyone. 
let's sit back and enjoy the end of this animation.